Hi guys, welcome to another video. You'll obviously read the title and seen the thumbnail. Today we're going to be talking about the differences between kids' unicycles and adult unicycles. You can see the two that I've got behind me there. Um, it's a question we get asked quite a lot, to be honest with you, because, let's be honest, them two unicycles look really similar. Um, so we're just going to get a bit unicycle nerdy and we're going to go over all the different bits and pieces um, and show you the differences between these two unicycles. Um, so yeah, other than that, let's get straight into it. So here's the two unicycles that we're going to be talking about today. Um, on the right here, we've got a 20 inch Hopley and this is a kid's unicycle. And then on the left, we've got the 20 inch uh, adult trainer unicycle. And that obviously is designed for adults. Um, but obviously to the untrained eye, if you're just looking at these two unicycles, they look very similar by the color. They look very, very similar same height, same wheel size, and all of the above. Um, but it's when you start actually getting into the actual individual components of the unicycle where you start to see uh, the differences. So if we start at the top of the unicycle, we'll just come in a bit closer. So this is the Hopley. So this is a kid's unicycle. And you can see straight away, if I compare, there's the Hopley saddle, and there's the trainer saddle. So there's your adult saddle and your kid's saddle. This saddle is way smaller. Uh, it doesn't have a front handle, um, just as a sort of kids usually try and keep hold of the handle at all times. Um, so it doesn't have one. And it's just a small unicycle with a smaller curve designed for smaller people. And that's about it. Um, and obviously the trainer saddle is a bit more beefy. So underneath, if we just go underneath, it's got the same base. Um, granted a different material, but the same base that comes on some of the high-end unicycles. So a very strong saddle for heavy adults. Um, if we move down the seat post, fairly standard item. They're the same across the two unicycles. But next is the seat post clamp. So this is a good seat post clamp, but it's not as heavy duty as this one. Because obviously this one's going to have more weight on the saddle and more twist so it needs to have a bit more clamp and pressure um than this one does so still a good clamp and like i said i could get on this unicycle and ride it but it's just not as good as that one and then if we move down uh, besides the color obviously so these two frames if you look they're both round crown um and share very similar designs but this one it's actually quite hard to see on the video is a chunkier steel so this is basically fatter in some areas if you just i think you can sort of see it on the legs there that this leg's a bit thinner than this one um and just the grade of steel is slightly i don't i don't like to say the word weaker but it's like lighter weight than that one and then and the other biggest thing if i just pull back a bit so there's there's the 20 inch wheel on the hopley and there's the 20 inch wheel on the trainer and you can straight away see that this one is a bit chunkier. So this has a 20 by 1.95 tire on. So it's a bigger tire, more weight. Okay? Where this one is a 175, a little bit of a skinny tire. Designed to have kids on, doesn't need to be withstanding that like big weight being put on the unicycle. Again, I could obviously be an adult, get on this unicycle and ride it, but it's just not as good as this one. And then if we come down the unicycle, um, you can see the rim. So this rim is an aluminium double walled rim, making it a lot stronger than this steel single walled rim. Um, if you don't know the differences between double wall and single wall, go on Google, put it into Google, you'll get it straight away. There's basically the way the rim is manufactured. And then the other bits that share between the two, pedals, cranks are identical because these are things on unicycles that get a lot of abuse, if you know what I mean. So as you're learning to ride, if you drop the unicycle and it gets spat across the hall that you learn to ride in, the cranks and the pedals are going to take a lot of the damage. Obviously, the saddle does as well. But so this is why these components are sort of the same across the board. They need to be strong as you're learning to ride. And then finally is the hub in the middle of the wheel. So this hub, the one on the trainer, is stronger than the Hopley. This one's made out of a beefier grade material, 
basically where the so the cranks bolt onto this hub so it needs to be strong because all of the pressure of the wheel and everything is going through them two units there that point i should say um so yeah and, it, and now i've said all that if i come back and you start looking you can actually see this unit cycle just looks that little bit beefier than this one um and yeah that's obviously the main differences between the two and there you go thank you if you managed to stay with me through that very nerdy unicycle specifications nick talks a lot video but there you go that's the differences between a kid's unicycle that one and an adult's unicycle yeah um and now it's obviously been a little bit more explained it's it's clear to understand why there's a difference between the two like i said an adult or a kid can get on a either unicycle and ride them straight out of the box but it's that prolonged use so if you use it for a long time an adult on the kid's unicycle is going to start pushing it right to extremes and you're going to start to possibly see failures whereas that's why we have an adult version so you don't get that um if you've got any questions about these unicycles or any other unicycles available on our our, our website i should say stick it in the comments below um and if you could do one of them youtuber things like share subscribe changes every time i ask you but if you could do one of them things it'd be very much appreciated uh, and other than that thanks for watching guys